Hello everyone, I'm Buffy1322 and welcome to week 3 of my first full iRacing season and we joined the action during qualifying for the first race where I set a lap that honestly I don't know where it came from, it was ridiculous. I was sort of by the end of it half a second up on my previous best that I'd done in the practice. I had only done about 20 minutes of practice before this and I set this lap time which was pretty much better than the laps that I could do consistently during the race. So it was a brand new track that's a kind of, it all came together and clicked at the very end of the uh, the practice. But yeah, this was kind of a, a lap that I just pulled out of the bag. So it's an interesting race, um, but it wasn't something that I would be able to do these lap times consistently. So I was always going to be a bit under pressure. I'll leave you to watch it and I'll come back before the start of the second race because that one's an interesting one as well. Look at this lap! Now that's a qualifying lap. Holy moly! I'll take that. It's all coming good just before the race. Bloody hell, the 101 too. I got my optimal into the 10, what was zero, the one minute as well. Top split times those. Pole position at the minute. Wow, okay. It's all clicked in like the last five minutes. <laughs> 20 minutes of practice in the last five minutes it all clicks nicely yeah i don't think i'm gonna win my, my expectations are pretty low i think especially with it being such a new track for me i'll just be happy to finish well to be honest but we'll see what we can do Holy moly, that was a lot of wheel spin and he got an incredible start. That didn't happen last week. Okay, got it. Let's, let's consolidate. Okay, maybe I need to figure out the starts again. <laughs> that was bad. That was very bad. Gotta do this for 20 laps. Gotta settle down a bit. Really? I couldn't, I couldn't hold it. Ah, oh, fuck. Hit in the back once again. Mm -hmm. 
That's eh, painful. <laughs> Extended practice once again. I mean, I never felt comfortable, to be honest, in the race up to that point, but I don't think I deserve that. I definitely qualified higher than I, you know, can consistently drive, but I'll have to look back on the replay. I don't know. I keep getting hit in the back. <laughs> it's quite frustrating. <laughs> People keep pitting. I mean, I'll take these positions. Anything I can salvage will be helpful. I feel bad about the way that I came back onto the track, though. I just haven't done enough laps to be consistent enough. First lap where I finally settled down. We're both catching up to fifth place pretty quick. Might not be over yet. Alright, we're definitely not catching up to 5th place now, so this is the battle until the end of the race, over 6th. Trying to get back into the top half, that's the battle. At least, even though I've been taken out in this one, I'm not languishing a half a lap down. At least I can still try to do something.
Nice. I am catching fifth, but not quickly enough. Finally settled into this race. Finally putting in some more representative lap times. It's taken three quarters of the race to do it. But hopefully that boards well for the next race. Last lap. I mean, I think I think the problem with this one is I was just way too far out of my depth. Hadn't done enough laps. Hadn't done enough practice around the track. So to find myself in, well, pole position and then second place getting pressured, it was too much. I mean, nothing I could really do about the takeout, but I was definitely slow. And it's taken me a good number of laps to get comfortable on the track. Brand new track, so... I guess, you know, getting a top half, salvaging something from this, I can't complain too much and we've got another race to go to try again. I've gapped the guy who overtook me though. He overtook me, gapped me, I pulled it back, overtook him and now I've gapped him again. So there's been some improvement made, I suppose. Just a shame I got hit up the backside again. All right, there's the chicken Once bag. again. <laughs> so I mean, to be honest, all things considered, I was in the third split, which is the first time I've been in the third split this season out of 12. I ended up finishing about where my pace would suggest based on best laps during the race. I think I peaked a little bit too early, to be honest, for the qualifying. And I still gained I rating and safety rating, even if it's just a small amount, it's better than losing it. So in the end, that wasn't as bad as it could have been. I feel like that's the difference between getting taken out and languishing at the back because it was a big takeout and getting taken out, but then still being able to compete. So, we'll try again. A chicane can really make or break your lap. This time it broke it. Still, 101.6 is a better lap than I did in the entirety of the previous race, so... <laughs> I don't know, I seem to peak for qualifying. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I suppose that's more a representative lap of my actual pace, though, which is good. I imagine there's going to be some quicker laps coming in. So, I'm still in the third split, but I'm ranked 11th in this one, which means, theoretically, there's higher rated drivers in this that are higher than me. But I'm still towards the top of the field, with two minutes left in the qualifier. People better come in and set some good laps because I don't think I'm capable of starting this high <laughs> if I'm only ranked 11th <laughs> and my lap from the previous race on the qualifying would have been enough for pole position again that was one hell of a lap I don't know where that came from to be honest well looks like I'm starting second then I hesitate to drive in my mirrors but like I feel like I should be being a bit more aware of like what's going on behind but then how can I how can I, you know, do anything against someone who just comes in too hot? Green flag, green flag. Car on, clear. So yeah, a familiar story in the first race really where you know I got hit up the backside once again as it's been the case if you've been watching these this iRacing series so far. It happens more often than not for me unfortunately. But obviously for the second race I was actually in the same split but lower ranked which meant that there were higher ranked drivers ahead of me. So I actually set a worse qualifying lap 
from uh, my my first lap, my first qualifying session for the first race, but it was actually still one of my better laps. So a qualifying second was actually pretty good. And then I got a really good start, as you saw, and got up into the lead. And I actually was able to keep the lead for a good few laps. I'm showing the uh, replay footage for the first few laps just because you know you can't see much when I'm in the lead just from the, the cockpit view. But I kind of felt like I shouldn't really be there. You know, the, the lap times were actually there during the first couple of laps and I started to settle down a lot quicker than I did in the previous race. But I just, I kind of felt like I had a little bit of an imposter syndrome where I, I really shouldn't be in the lead of this race. I'm, I'm, I haven't done enough practice. I, I have, I'm not setting, I'm not able to set consistently good lap times. I don't know, it was just a, a weird, uh, weird things going on in my head, kind of talking myself out of the good performance that I was putting in. I do manage to actually pull out a bit of a gap in the first couple of laps because second and third place start to battle and they switch positions. But then they both are able to catch up to me fairly quickly and that is showing that sort of lack of consistency in the quick laps. I can set them for one or two laps but then I can't do it for, you know, 20 laps in a row. So it, it becomes a very interesting race, you know, that there's all the three of us basically at the front all the way through it, it was a really really good race and certainly made up for the first race and I think that's going to be a trend of this sort of thing I was, I was sort of under pressure but um, it, it, it seems like obviously I can't really devote any more time to what I'm doing so when I do eye racing on a stream I do my practice before the race there's a race every hour I'm able to get two races in every week so I do a bit of practice beforehand and if it's a new track especially like these have been it's difficult to you know be on the pace immediately and it's something that I'm pretty happy with that I've been able to get even sort of lap times that the top split of drivers were doing so quickly with not that much practice but it's always gonna it always seems to be like it's gonna be the second race where I'm gonna be able to do better because I've had the first race experience as well and just generally more time with the car but that's just something that I'm going to have to live with because I can't really devote any more time than I already am. Anyway, they're all still entertaining races and this one especially, so I hope you enjoy and especially wait to the very last corners of the last lap on this one. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the race. It's a good move, really. That's okay. I'm just looking for a decent result in this. That was unexpected. The last corner is my weakness. Set some really quick lap times in the first couple of laps. 
which actually caught me off guard that I was even capable of doing that in the race. <laughs> Pace has fell off again, just don't have that consistency over the long run at the minute, but let's just keep it here for now. Last lap was a better lap as well. I think the the first couple of laps, I had some imposter syndrome. <laughs> like I shouldn't really be at the front of this race, ranked eleventh in this third split. <laughs> the more that I follow the top two, the more that's going away. Couldn't capitalise on that. He didn't do enough of a mistake. Might as well keep the pressure on though. Good gap behind still. Gaps have opened up a little bit on the last few laps between this top three. My god we actually gave each other room i can't believe it Good clean racing in Mazda's over second after he made that little mistake. First corner is definitely the overtaking place and I haven't figured out how to properly defend it yet. I think it's just a case of knowing how far people are behind me and how close they are based on the mirrors. I think when I hook it up right, the chicane is one of my strengths. The last corner is definitely one of my weaknesses. kind of ebbs and flows throughout the lap. Two 
Flag, watch flag. Last nice lap, might as well keep the pressure on. Oh, I've broken the car. I've knocked the wheel off. Come on. One more corner to go. Come on! I'm getting caught up! They're coming up to me! Did I keep it? Did I keep the head? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I think I got it! I think I kept it! <laughs> Holy moly! Oh my god! When I saw the car pivot down, I thought, oh my god, what have I done? Bloody <laughs> By two, I kept the podium by two tenths of a second. Bloody hell. Those, those cabs, they're car killers. <laughs> Are we ready to see the Mazda three-wheeler? No, oh, look at that. <laughs> oh man, at least I did it on the last lap. I mean, I was pushing because I wanted to pressure him. But uh, yeah, to be honest, I can't believe I managed to keep third on that. I'm very happy about it. I'm like bloody Hamilton at Silverstone last year. <laughs> three, three wheels getting across the line. And I did just manage to keep it across the line. I mean, I wanted to get out of the way. I wasn't going to, like, block them or anything, but just kept it by two tenths. To be fair, I know that was, like, one little mistake, but I think I deserved that podium, so I'm happy I managed to keep it. <laughs> but, yeah, it was very close. Two tenths back to fourth and two tenths, a further two tenths back to third, uh, fifth. Nice. Finally back over the 1500i rating again. That's a hefty amount. I mean, I was ranked 11th in that split, third split, so to get a podium, like, yeah, that's a hefty amount. Back over 1,500. Have I ever been over 1,500? I think after the, when I got out of rookies was the last time I was behind over 1,500. And then it's been slumming it ever since. So I'm happy for those kind of races. Even if I don't win, to put in a solid performance is, is good. Um, to be fair, the best lap times for all these guys were in the 101. So, uh, yeah, even from the first race to the second race, like, that's been a massive improvement. So, I'll absolutely take that. <laughs>